time is it? It's movie review time. It's movie review time. Where y'all at? Where you at? Where you at? Movie review. Movie review. That's hard to say. I need to get. I need to get like with the beat, like a good little intro. Cause I was like trailer reaction time. This time, that time. I need like a good little song for myself. I know y'all saw the title. I know y'all saw the title and you're probably shocked. You're like, crazy Amanda, you are crazy. You went and saw that. I did. I went and saw the new Pet Cemetery. I don't know why. I don't know why I torture myself with this kind of stuff. But I was, you know what? It's because I seen the first ones. Would they have like two? They had like the Pet Cemetery and Pet Cemetery 2. I only see the first one. I only saw the first one. Scared me to death had nightmares right just the whole concept the whole concept creepy i mean and especially that one it was like a little tiny boy remember when like the little tiny boy died and then they went and buried him and he came back and he was like a little tiny evil like remind me like a little chucky doll or something so i was like oh, all right i want to see this one and i was like i'm not going by myself oh no so I made my daughter go with me. <laughs> I made my, I'm so I'm like, I can't see this by myself. And my husband was old. I'm like, I want to. And so my daughter with me, she's gonna, she's 10, gonna be 11. But this is the thing. Let me tell you the beginning. I was like, what she wanted to like go, not because she was scared. And let me tell you, they had scary parts, scary, like jump, like where you're jumping. And she jumped some because I was jumping. Probably she jumped for me. Because that's, that's what I don't like about scary movies. Those jump scenes and stuff, you forget about it. I don't like to be jumping in my seat like that. And a lot of the gore stuff too. Like when it's just like Texas Chainsaw, like nasty, super nasty gore. I'm like, oh, I can do without that. But I like psychological thrillers and stuff. But she was like bored. And I'm like, oh, I can kind of see why. It wasn't, it wasn't like on the same caliber, I would even say, like the first ones at all. I'm like, why'd they redo this if they're not gonna make it that good? Why are they gonna redo this if they're not gonna make it that good? Start off your classic, they moved into the new house, like, like they wanted to copy all that from the original. Moved into new house, then they got, you know, this busy highway right in front of their new house. The kids just playing in the front. Number one, I'd be like, right away, get you a good gate that they can't get out of. With that, with the traffic going like that, right away. And right away, they discover like, like that pet cemetery was like on their property. It wasn't like they got lost in the forest and, and came upon it. No, that pet cemetery was right in their backyard. Then they got the neighbor. John Lith Lithgow, Lithgow, John Lithgow, right? Is that who that is? Y'all know So the neighbor, who's all nosy and he's always looking out because he knows something ain't right with that with that pet cemetery. He knows about it. And then he sees them up in there. How come he just didn't like right away like say, you better not. Do not even get into this. Like he doesn't. Like I'm like, you're not, you ain't a very good neighbor. Ain't gonna really warn the people. You done, like, they walked in, they got little kids right away, like, well, they see them. Well, I guess the little girl just sees them with their mask on and stuff. <sighs> they knew right away something ain't right. And then they're going to bury the cat there. Then the cat, the cat gets killed. Then he, the guy's going to bury, the husband went and buried the cat there because it always happened first, the animal. The animal comes back. The animal ain't right. You know, you don't come back with the things ain't right when you come back from there. And you even having all these visions. You having all these visions already. Like he's a doctor. He's a doctor. This one guy, kid came in like from the college, was hit by a car. Oh, that was a nasty part. His face all like mangled and stuff. Didn't make it. But he's going to be in there with the guy. And the, the guy, the, the kid that already died, like sits up and he's like, don't the, you open the barrier. Like he's giving him warnings. You know, stuff ain't right. And then it just took, I don't know, it dragged. It did. I'm just like, all right, all right. Like the cat died, all right. The, here comes the big semi. And 
And the trailers kind of ruined it because you knew it was the girl that dies. But they, I'm like, if you're going to make it like a part where you think it's the little boy, because they have a little boy and a girl who's old, right? I mean, she's like, what, maybe six or seven. The little boy's like a baby, baby boy. And so you're going to have like this moment where you think like, oh, the truck's coming. It's going to hit him and the boy's out there. And if I didn't know better, if I didn't see the trailers, I would have thought the boy, but I already knew it was the girl. So I was like, you just lied like that. You want to build up this scene, but you already gave me that. Like, I already know that ain't true. So that scene didn't even get it for me because I'm like, oh, he's going to grab the boy and somehow the girl's going to die. And that's what happens, right? You already ruined that for me in the trailers. That would have been a good, like, climax scene. Like, oh, the boy's going to get killed and then it hits the girl. That would have been, but no, you spoiled it for me in the, in the trailers, right? And then that girl, oh, then, oh, so. Grossy, oh. Because the dad, right, they have the funeral and all this and that. And he goes and, uh, like, has the, he, so the dad, without telling nobody, goes and buries the little girl in the pet cemetery to come back. Talking about, I'm not ready to say goodbye. Well, nobody, like, you wouldn't, you would never be ready to say goodbye to, like, a kid. Never. But you saw what happened to that cat. It didn't come back right. And you gotta take that chance. So she comes back, all oh, daddy, and then he gives her a bath. Oh, that was so gross. He has her a bath, and you saw that in the trailer. And she got the stitches in her head, and he's brushing her, and her hair is coming out. And I was just like, oh. Then she went and killed the neighbor, which I'm like, it's your fault. But this is the thing, like, now that she's back, she, like, knows stuff. She knows stuff about, like, the dead. Like the next door neighbor, like the John Lithgow, like she went there and she was talking about like his wife and past and this. And so she comes back and she's knowing stuff. Then finally she's revealed to the mom because the mom don't even know he does. He went and did all this. And he's like, hug your daughter. And she's like, she went and hug her. She ran off. Then right there, the daughter's like, oh, I already... Like, I don't want to hug her anyway, right? She's like, forget it. I don't, I don't want to hug her anyway. Like, she ain't, no. Like, she, you can already tell. Like, she don't even care about the mom. Like, she's headed in for the mom, right? She has an in for the mom. She crazy. And the mom sees, like, she ain't evil. Like, evilness. So, she's like, she's done for first. And then, she does. Then she, like, stabs the mom. I'm like, oh, the mom's dead. She, the dad takes like the kid and like run into the car, like locking the little one up, the baby. I'm gonna go back and save. No, she done buried the mom in the pet cemetery and she came back to life right then. Then the dad shows up. I'm like, now they're both evil, gonna be killing you. What'd they do? They killed him, buried him. He come back, so all three, and then they wanna end it. Where they all three, the, the evil, the pet cemetery from that cemetery and walking up to the car. And that's the part. That part, I was just like, oh, not the baby. Like, you know, that's what they were going to do. So the end, like, it ended where I was just like, oh. But the rest of the movie, I was like, eh. You know what's going to happen. They even copied this. It was slow. They had the jump parts where I shine out like. And even if they, so this is the part. So they went, they talked a lot about, like, the past. Especially the mom's past. Apparently she had, like, a sick sister should they take care of and and she was like oh. it was just creepy because she was like scared of the sister and the sister was like on her death like oh. and something ain't right with the sister and and i don't know like i didn't even understand this part like one time she had to bring her food one time she put it the food through the you know when you put it in the thing and it goes up on the little elevator you close it like those old houses and then she heard a boom i'm like so what the sister like fell down it like i didn't understand but that was that part creeped me out and i was like they should have like expanded on that if they would expand it on like the mom's past and that sister and all that that would have been good they didn't do that it was slow my daughter was bored my daughter was bored it ended cool but when, when they were going like to get the baby but the rest so even if you even if i was a scary movie fan which number one i would have been like like any scary movies i'm like no not don't say 
But even if I was like a fan, I would have still said like, I don't think it's that good. Sorry. I know. I don't think it's that good. If you're going to remake something, remake it better. Don't like try to copy it and then it's worse. I don't Then Why would you even remake it? So that's my thoughts. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. And I know y'all surprised. I went to see a scary movie. <laughs> and I brought my little girl. Because <laughs> I didn't want to go see it by myself. And she even thought it was boring. Uh, yeah. So I'll have more videos and stuff coming. But I just wanted to share my thoughts on that. Until then, you know what to do. Where is it at? Where is it at down there somewhere? Subscribe. Comments. If you've seen it, I want to know what you thought. I don't think it's just me being biased for the scary movies. I want to know what you thought. So thumbs, comments, all that. Till next time, y'all. Bye.